What's up, YouTube? Welcome back over here at Jason Laces, guys. Now, today, I have a special video for you guys today because we do have an unboxing from Nike, guys. And anytime we have an unboxing from Nike, it's a special video because, you know, we don't have a lot of them. Now, you guys already know what these things is. Could be nothing other than the Fire Red 5s, guys, and I'm very excited to get into these today. Uh, but before we get into these, I just want to make sure that to let you guys know that I have, guys, just created an official Instagram page for not only uh, for my YouTube channel, it's going to be but just my sneaker page. It's going to be nothing but sneakers, guys. You guys can go ahead and follow that. I'll post it right there. It is just called Jason Laces. Go Make sure that you guys go ahead and follow that Instagram page. You guys include, like, uh, first news updates, sneaker updates, sneaker news, sneakers that I have for sale, whole, just a whole bunch of things and everything regarding sneakers. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow that, guys. Be much appreciated. I appreciate all you guys' support. And for those of you that are new over here to my channel, let's make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, guys. Go ahead and get a part of my channel over here to support my movement. You know, we are at about 860 subscribers, guys. I just want to say thank you to all my 860 subscribers out there. Guys, we are only... 140 subscribers away from a thousand y'all thousand subscribers guys that's a big milestone for me to hit once i hit those thousand subscribers i will be doing the giveaway so make sure if you guys are new hit that subscribe button all my loyal you know subscribers that i have for a minute now make sure you guys share my channel tell your friends about it you know tell family about it get it out there let's get my channel to thousand subscribers all of you guys watching this video make sure to hit that like button for me guys i really do appreciate it it helps the channel out makes it go far i want to say let's go ahead and get Let's hit a goal of 20 likes, guys. Let's hit 20 likes on this video. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get to it. All right, guys. And now as I'm opening this, I actually realized that I lied. These are not from Nike. Nike is not that quick with their shipping. These ones are actually from, I don't know, because when these released, I actually hit on three pairs of them. Three pairs. Whoa. Oof. Now you guys go go ahead and get a good look at the front of that box. Man, it's so beautiful to see that right there. Go ahead and pull these out. Right, so here we have it. This is the Air Jordan 5 box. You guys can see that black lid, red jump man. Got your little uh cement print down here. Nike Air right there on the back of the box. Nike Air right there on the front of the box. I have the black metallic fives that also say Nike Air on the back, but those ones did not have Nike Air on the box. So that is nice of Nike and Jordan Brand to go ahead and give us the OG box with the Nike Air on it. I like that. Now, right here on the front of the box, you guys can see we do have Air Jordan 5 Retro, size 11 and a half. Now, these actually say, okay, okay. So they say True Red, Fire Red, and Black, and these do retail for $200. Oh, so these ones are from Finish Line, actually. So... That's right, I hit on Nike, Finish Line, and Hibbs Sports, I want to say. I know that I got three pairs, I just can't remember where I got them from. If we go ahead and open this up, oh, you guys can see the sneakers right there. That black paper right there. But enough of that, there is the sneakers, guys. These things are so clean. Man, I love to see these right here, guys. This is the Air Jordan 5 Fire Red with the silver tongue. Such a beautiful sight to see because, man, I love the Jordan 5s. The Jordan 5s is actually one of my favorite models, but this is the first Jordan 5 I bought since 2016, actually. Since the Black Metallic 5s, those are the, that's the last Jordan 5 that I got. And now I have the Fire Red 5s, man. It's been a long time waiting. Only reason being is because I really haven't liked any 5s that have dropped since then. Although fives are one of my favorite models, I really only like OG colorways. And this is one I've been wanting ever since that 2013 release. Those ones released in 2013 with the Jumpman on the back. I wanted those in 2013, couldn't get them. And now I have them with Nike Air on the back, which is even better. Now this is the fourth time that this has dropped. Uh, I believe they came out in 1990 and then again in 2000 with Nike Air on the back again. 2013 with, with the Jumpman and then seven years later, we finally got them. 2020 with that nike air on the back now the leather on these the leather is not bad much better than the older releases of the fire red fives the 2013 versions those had terrible leather it's not the best leather like it's not i was expecting leather like with the fours but it doesn't seem to be that good but it's not bad i like I, they did they did good on these though love the sneaker now this is the colorway with the silver tongue 
um, like Jordan Bryant needs to bring back the black tongue fire red fives because the black tongue fire red fives, I like those ones better than these. I still look, like these ones a lot, but the, the black tongue, I like better than these ones. Those ones are fire. The difference is on those ones is that they have the black tongue that's not the VA, hence the black tongue fire red fives. The color blocking right here is switched up, so this is red and that's black, and then it also has a 23 stitching right there. Those ones are clean, gotta have them in the collection. Don't have them, but we'll get them one day. Now, guys, when did these drop? These came out on May 2nd. May 2nd, 2020, we did get the release of this. Now, we were supposed to get, these were originally, now of course because of coronavirus and everything, these did get pushed back just like all the other Jordans that released, but these were originally supposed to release on March 28th, which would actually would have marked the 30 year anniversary that he scored 69 points because Michael Jordan did score 69 points in these sneakers right here. March 28th, 1990, he wore these and scored 69 points, his all time career high. 30 years later, we're supposed to get these, but then, you know, this thing called coronavirus came around. Messed everything up, so it just got pushed back, but it's all good. So they dropped now, and now we got them. So dope. Especially with, like, the Last Dance premiering and all that, it makes these, like, having these, like, that much tighter. It's really cool, actually. Watching the Last Dance just makes me want Jordan so much more, and I feel like everybody, everybody else as well, because right now, all the prices on OG Jordans are going way up, especially on the ones that are skyrocketing. The day, guys, I'm so excited to have these in the collection. I need to go ahead and give you guys a better look at this, that 360 round view. Because, man, like I said, I love the fives. Fives is one of my favorite. If you guys didn't know, the Air Jordan 5 is supposed to look like a like a fighter jet from like World War II. As you guys can see, biggest part of it right there is like the shark teeth right there that are on the sneaker. One of my favorite things about the sneaker actually was that I remember when I first seen the Jordan 5s, that was one thing that first caught my eye was that shark teeth on the side. And man, I love them. Now, starting off with the outsole, as you guys can see, you do have your Nike right there. Black outsole, red jump, man, icy bottom. Black midsole, red teeth, see-through air bubble right there. White leather upper, got that translucent netting on each side. You got the white laces in on this, and below the laces, as you guys can see, you got that uh, translucent netting as well. Nike Air on the back of there, as you guys have already seen. Right here on the tongue, silver tongue, I already went over that. Got that, um... Got the jump man stitched in red on there. Right here on the lace locks. As you guys can see, got a red lace lock in there. Black jump man on the lace lock. Let me try to get this closer for you. Got a Nike right there on the sneaker. I don't know if you guys can see that. I mean on the lace lock, my bad. Got red sock liner right here on the inside of new, And then actually on the inside. So you guys can see that. On the insole, you got a black insole with a white Nike air on the inside. And behind the tongue, as you guys can see, it says Air Jordan upside down you got that behind the tongue and yeah guys that's pretty much all for these you know not much else to say other than these are a must have in the collection and if you don't cop them now and if you sleep now then you don't have to pay the price later actually because these will go up the price as well just like all other og jordans are going to so if you want them cop them now because you're not going to get them later or you might but you're gonna have to pay a ridiculous amount way more than the amount that i would pay you know but with all that said, it is a must-have in the collection. I'll go ahead and give you guys another look at these. 360 round view. And of course, you got that reflective tongue on these guys right here. Oh yeah, they look very nice with that. And if you guys didn't know, the reason, yeah, these were the first Jordans to have the 3M reflective material on it. And the reason why is because Michael Jordan Wanted to look flashy on the court. Literally wanted to look flashy. When people took pictures of him, he wanted his shoes to flash. And that's the reason that we got 3M re reflective material on these. And I, dude, I like them. I dig it. It's dope. Yeah, guys, that's all for these Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds. Dope sneaker. That's all I'm going to say. Now, if you guys have not checked out my last videos, make sure to go ahead and check it out. I did do my review and unboxing on the DMP6s as well. Dope sneaker. Clean sneaker as well. So glad I have those in the collection. And I did do my first ever reaction video to the Travis Scott concert. So if you guys missed the Travis Scott concert or missed that video, make sure to go ahead and check that out as well. And if you guys are new to the channel, not yet subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of my videos, guys. Got more videos coming out, so stay tuned, guys. If you have that notification bell hit, then you will get notified when they drop. Don't forget to go follow my Instagram page, guys, that I just started. With all that said, I'll catch you on the next video on Jason's Laces.